Hello everyone and welcome to the Trucker Jim channel. This is going to be my very first tech review video so I'm super excited about that. For those of you that's been watching my truck and journey video series as me as a truck driver out on the road, you already know I love my Apple products. So I'm excited to share my opinions with the new Apple Watch, which I've had the watch about three weeks now, but this is by no means my first Apple product. Now the Apple Watch is not a replacement for the iPhone, just like the iPhone is not a replacement for the iPad, and the iPad is not a replacement for the MacBook Pro but they all work really, really well together and they will find their place in your life and your creativity and communication. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the Apple Watch review. All right, who's ready for an Apple Watch review video? I know there's probably only a million others on the internet, but this one is mine. As far as the unboxing experience, which, sorry, I didn't record that, but just like all Apple devices, it comes in just a fantastic box. Inside the box is the charger for the Apple Watch, which the Apple Watch, you do not plug a cord in to charge it like other Apple devices. It's this little thing, which is magnetized and the back of the watch sticks to it. Uh, it's surprisingly fast with how fast it charges. I've never ran a stopwatch on it, but it's somewhere an hour or a little more will go from 20% or so to a full charge. Uh, with me personally, I haven't had the Apple Watch's battery run out on me yet. And unlike probably most people that would charge their watch at night when they're charging their iPhone, well, I've got a sleep app that's on the watch that tracks my sleep as far as how much sleep, how much quality sleep, how much deep sleep. It lets you know how many times you woke up during the night. Well, you can't use that if it's, it's on charge. So I tend to try to charge mine when I'm editing video like this or some other time so I can wear it while I'm sleeping. But the battery life is pretty good. I would say you absolutely you'll have an all day charge maybe to the end of a second day at least into a second day you can expect that every time as far as siri goes on the apple watch you have the option of being able to give the command with no touch hey siri and it'll activate it but as you see i have that on my iphone hmm. i don't see anything connected and that could become pretty annoying every time you say Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's 33 degrees outside. You know, you'll have your iPhone and your watch doing that. So I don't have that activated on the watch. Uh, the way you activate it on the watch is the big button with the red dot. If you have the cellular, you just press and hold it for a sec. What's the temperature outside? But you can also, of course, send text messages with it. Send Misty a text message saying, I can't wait to see you, baby. Okay, I'll send this. Bloop. And the text message is on its way. But just like on the iPhone, Siri answers all types of questions, such as, what day is Halloween going to be on this year? What NFL teams are remaining in the playoffs? The Patriots, Bills, Chiefs, Steelers, Jaguars, Titans, Eagles, Rams, Vikings, Saints, Panthers, and Falcons have all qualified for the NFL playoffs. Well, she didn't quite get that one right because there's only four teams left in the playoffs. What is the date of the Super Bowl? Now Siri is not quite as functional on the 
Apple Watch it is, is the iPhone say if I wanted a recipe for a Bloody Mary look up recipe for Bloody Mary And then you hit continue on the iPhone. Checking. Here's what I found on the web for look up recipe for Bloody Mary. And it goes to the iPhone. So, you know, like I said before, this is not a replacement for your iPhone, but it is the greatest accessory for the iPhone, especially if you have AirPods, which work beautifully between the two. The music also. I have not really noticed access to 40 million songs on my Apple Watch. But any kind of playlist and then music that I have saved on my iPhone, I do have access that, to that on the Apple Watch. But as far as all the playlist of the day and search all of Metallica or Celine Dion, you don't have that capabilities yet. But I hear that is coming soon. But it's still pretty cool as far as working out. I love the freedom of being able to walk away from my iPhone. Either leave it in the car or leave it in a locker and just walk in, have nothing but my watch, my AirPods, and just go crazy in there. And you know, I've got a workout list that I'd set up, which is very easy to do right from the, the iPhone for a playlist. And then you can do extreme customization to your watch from the watch app on the iPhone. From your home screen of the iPhone, you can simply go to the Apple Watch app. You open that up and it shows your current watch face. Mine is called Jim's Apple Watch. It's a 42 millimeter. Below that, you'll see my faces, which represents all the current faces you have installed on your Apple Watch. But you can take a look at all of those. And if you'd like to do any editing in any of them you simply select it and if you want to change the color you can or the type of text you certainly can and certain ones have more complications that you that, that you can add the numerals is pretty simple you've got one to choose from date seems like a good one to me if you want to make it your current watch face you can and works the same way for all of them you can change colors if you like the design of the face there's a few options the different complications what you want to be able to access whether it be your phone or your messages the weather what have you and your app layout you can change this from the watch or the app to move them around you simply hold and press it and move it around or you can just keep it in list mode, whichever works better for you. You can change the brightness, the text size from the app. And there's also an app store where you've got access to all the apps that are available on the Apple Watch. Whether you're into snowboarding, running, there's lots and lots of fitness ones. You can have Lyft and Uber on there. Lots of different workout ones. There's even games, things that'll keep up with your sleep, meditation, news. This is what's called the Explorer face, which you can see at the top left. I can access my phone, top right, text messages, and then the date is at the bottom. If I wanted to switch to a different face, I do a force press and swipe over. And you can toggle between all the faces that you have set up such as Mickey Mouse. It's 10.55. Good morning, pal. <laughs> this is what I call my workout face. You know, it has the time with the seconds on there too, but it also shows me my heart rate, amount of steps, that sort of things. I can access any of my music, which is connected to my AirPods. Also, the workout feature, if you get on any type of machine or anything you can let the watch know and it keeps up with your activity on that no matter what it is but just pressing the button goes back to the main screen but to access your phone such as to make a phone call you just tap phone and you can go directly to your favorites recent calls contacts which is set up just like your phone in alphabetical order or if you've got favorites set up they're right there. 
and tap it, and it begins to make a call. Texting is the same way. Now, if you receive a text, it pops up on the screen, but if you want to make a text, whoop, here's a list of my most recent text messages, and you can receive pictures, but if you scroll down, the way to reply, the microphone, you can speak it, or you can send an emoji. The scribble, you can actually write it out. You can send them a few bucks through Apple Pay, and then these are predetermined replies, which the I'm at the gym, call you after workout, and making a video on a roll are ones I designed and moved towards the top. To access the apps, you just simply press the big button and you can have it in list mode and scroll through. They're in alphabetical order. If you force press, you can put it in grid mode. Either one is okay. I find myself doing the list mode more often. Flashlight feature has a flashlight. Pretty cool. GPS is a very cool addition to the Apple Watch, which you can actually get directions by using voice right from the app. But if you use your iPhone to get directions to somewhere, it automatically sends it to your watch as well. And while you're driving there, you can glance at the watch and it has what the next turn is, how far it is away. As you start approaching, you start hearing like a tick, 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 like a turn signal type of sound. And then as soon as you make that turn, it also gives a little vibration feeling as you're approaching your turn on the watch. It's pretty handy. Text messaging is awesome on the Apple Watch. I check and reply to text more on the watch now than I do the iPhone just because it's so easy to glance and read the text and it has the whole text message history that you can scroll back, you know, from person to person. Uh, it's very easy to reply. You can either do it by voice or you can just tap one of the predetermined text messages. One thing I would suggest, I ordered the screen protector for my watch when I ordered my watch, which are several different companies that make it. The one that I got, I believe was called Armor Shield, ordered it off Amazon. It was only about 10 bucks. There were two in it. And basically what it was, was a little clear sticker that's the same size as the watch face here. Comes with a cloth where you just wipe it off good, spray it with this solution, stick it on into place, get the hair dryer out, blow it, and you can't even tell it's there. Because watches that I had years ago, which up until the Apple Watch, I haven't worn a watch in probably three or four years, but I would butcher the screen of them. They would just get so scratched up and never realize how many things I bumped my wrist on until I put a nice watch on. So that's why I got the screen protector and I even got an extra one before this one gets messed up. So I would suggest doing that if you're going to spend the money on an Apple Watch to help protect it. And lastly, for all of you that are saying, where's the pug that was in the thumbnail? Well, that is my pug. That's Boone, and this is kind of a retake. The first time that I filmed this, I had Boone in there with me at the beginning, at the end, but the green screen wasn't set up properly, so I had to reshoot it again. And I'm at my girlfriend's house now, so Boone is not with me. But if you would like to see more of Boone, please subscribe to the channel. It's Trucker Jim, and if you go to playlist, I've got it categorized, my season one, season two, and some other little ventures. This particular video will be in bonus videos on my channel, but starting with about episode 40 all the way up to episode 122, you can find Boone on the road with me. But everyone, thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments, and I hope you subscribe, and I will see you all next time but until then be safe out there and keep on trucking